Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Writer version 3 HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 12. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about models in modules. So far inside this playlist, we had discussed about several topics inside HMVC playlist. Now this time we are going to discuss about the backend files which basically communicate with the database and takes data from our database and put inside controllers and send back to our views files. So what basically models are? So models are means these are the backend files which communicate with the controllers and provide data to them after which controllers manage their views accordingly. These are the files where we will write about the database query something called insert, update, delete, select and many more queries which basically we want to operate with our database connections. We are not going to write any database query to our controllers or any views files. After operating with the database, if we want to get all the data, then we have to send back to our controllers and then controller manage their views accordingly, accordingly with those data. About the model's concept, we had discussed in detail in our code generator playlist. Now let's say that how can we make models in our HMVC and do all the operations. So back to code editor. Now this is the sign up module which actually we are working on. If I back to browser, now this is the front end section. Now inside this, in the last videos, what we had done basically inside this. Inside this controller, if I scroll down, as we can see that the database operations like insert, all we had done inside this file. Also scroll down, we had selected all the data from our table but we had written all the database queries inside this controller. Now we want to separate all these queries like select and the insertion operation into a separate module file means separate model file. After making model file we have to load inside this controller and accordingly we have to use that. So let's create our model file first. So same if we want to create any model file we have to go inside models and let's say that new file let's say sign up underscore model dot php back to our model file declare our class so let's say class sign up its model let's say extends so class sign up model it should be extends by using our ci underscore model now this is the predefined class provided by our code creator setup. Now inside this class, the first thing first I am to define our construct function. So construct. This is all about our constructor function. Now inside this construct function, firstly, as we know that we are using a secondary connection for this sign up module what we had seen inside previous videos. So this is the HMVC connection we are using that. So firstly we need to define this connection variable inside this sign up module so that we can operate with the secondary database. So let's say that inside this class let's say public let's say HMVC this is a public variable and let's say this HMVC equal to this load database and inside this the connection name we have something called HMVC and the second parameter we are passing because we are using the secondary connection that's why it will be true. After making the successful connection now we are ready to write our database queries. So the first method we are going to create inside this something called for the insert operation. So public function and let's create user. Now inside this simply we have to pass our data. It should be array. After getting the data values now I am going to perform the insert operation. So let's say this. HMVC 
and here let's say insert and the first parameter we have to pass the table name so as we know that we are using or inserting the data inside our table called tbl underscore users so copy this table name go here and pasting it here in the second parameter we have to pass the data what basically we are going to insert that so copy this data and pasting it here so if I cut this from here let's say if return and let's say true value this will be value after insertion else it returns here called false value now successfully we have made our first method which basically create the user inside this table called tb underscore users now this is for the insert operation so let's say insert operation now we are going to create our second method which basically select all the data from this table and give back to our controller so public function get list users now by typing this method inside this let's say this hmvc select let's say all user all user from the table so this hmvc from and the table name we have called tbl underscore users next we have to generate our query so this hmvc and get method for that and finally we have to return the result so query and we have a result method so successfully we are selecting all the data all the users from this table and sending back to this our controller file so back to controller now we have created our model successfully now we have to load that now here as we know that we have separated our database connection or we have connected with our model so we don't want our connection inside this controller file so I'm going to give comment all these lines and let's say that this load model and inside this we have to pass our model name so the model name we have called sign up underscore model so I'm going to specify all the characters in small letters so after loading the sign up model actually by the help of this keyword actually we can use all these methods inside this inside this controller so copy the model keyword means model name scroll down and this time we are inserting all the data not by using HMVC this sign up model and the sign up model has a method called create user so after loading sign up model now we are ready to access all the methods what we had defined inside this model file now inside this method we have to pass only the data variable not basically we have to pass the table name so get rid of that now we had done all the required things if I again check all the things all we have done now so back to browser reload this page now let's say that if you back to our table and the table we have created called learn CIHMVC now right now inside our TBL users there is no record inside this table right now so let's insert some data so let's say this is our first data some dummy email address this is our dummy phone number now finally if we select about the designation let's say web designer submit button now successfully we had created our user back to our table click on the browse now as we can see that we have now our first record inside this tbl underscore users table so successfully guys we had loaded or we had created our model and successfully after loading that now we are ready to use all the methods what we had created inside this sign up model now after creating the insert operation now we are going to use and use the method to select all the data from our table so let's say that I am to get rid of all these things from here and this time I am going to use 
the method of sign up module so here let's the result equal to this sign up module this is the sign up module we had created and inside this we have a method called get users so copy this and pasting it here now it will give all the data inside our tbl users and successfully we are dumping all the data to our output screen so if we save all these changes back to config to see the route of this method and this is the route so if i copy the route name back to browser and let's say that localhost code igniter hmvc index and here i'm going to it's a sign up and the users list as we know that we had created only a single user at this time so this is a single object inside this array now if we create another record let's say that this is our second user choose designation let's say web developer submit inserted reload this page now we have one more object inside this array so successfully guys by the help of this video session we understood about that how can we create our models how can we load into controllers and how can we access and use all the methods we had defined inside this sign up model and also we had seen that we have to approach to use our database either we can make connectivity inside this controller directly or we can just separate with the concept of model so i strongly suggest you guys for your application development that just you have to follow about mvc pattern the c is for controller v is for views files and the m for the models so we have to actually follow our model view controller hierarchy to separate all the files accordingly so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day